to make a decision about whether or not I want to keep my Porsche on the road in the winter right after I buy one. Now, if you are in the market for a new vehicle, you might be interested in the results from Ajax Test Fest, an annual process that we introduced you to last week where manufacturers vie for the title of Best in Their Segment. Here's a very special presentation on all of the winners, as well as the announcement of 2010's overall Canadian Car and Canadian Utility of the Year. Welcome to the Auto 123 Show special presentation for Ajax 2010 Canadian Car of the Year. AJAC, the Automobile Journalists Association of Canada, has been conducting this event since 1985. Well, it started 26 years ago. Ultimately, there are two categories for Car of the Year and Utility Vehicle of the Year. On the car side, recent winners include Hyundai Genesis in 2009 and the Audi R8 in 2008. On the utility side, the Ford Flex took the title in 2009 and the Shelby Silverado in 2008. Mm -hmm. Eligibility for Canadian Car of the Year is determined at Ajax Annual Test Fest, where automotive journalists gather to drive and grade the automotive industry's latest entries. Winners are determined in 12 individual categories. The title of Canadian Car of the Year translates to more than sheer prestige for the winning manufacturer. Let's take a closer look at who's in the running this year. Best New Small Car Under 21,000 well, the Mazda 3 won the title thanks to its interior style and great dynamic abilities, as well as its overall refinement and quality. Best new small car over 21,000. The Mazda 3 Sport beat its category rivals with its great handling, performance, braking, and overall versatility. Both best small categories, wow. Best new family car under 30,000. The Golf Wagon TDI Clean Diesel takes the honors thanks to its performance, its versatility, and of course, great fuel economy. And a long name. And a long name. Extra, extra points. Best new family car over 30,000. Well, the Ford Taurus amazed the jury with its superb ride, impressive fit and finish, and a huge trunk. Extra points for a huge trunk. Huge, huge trunk, trunk goes a long car. way. Best new luxury car over 50,000. The BMW 335D sedans, combination of handling, straight line performance, and low fuel consumption made it a clear winner in its category. I don't even know what straight line performance means. It means, you know, acceleration, straight line. Oh, okay, fair enough. Best new prestige. Well, the Porsche Panamera Turbo offers a well-finished and luxurious cockpit, superb handling, and breathtaking performance, which was enough for it to deserve the title. You almost lost your breath there. Yeah. Best new sports performance under 50,000. Well, the Volkswagen GTI won this category with a well-crafted interior, excellent handling, and reasonable fuel economy. Fuel economy is a big thing right now. Sure. Yeah. Best new sports performance over 50,000. A clear winner this time, the Audi S4 charmed us all with its powerful and efficient engine, excellent vehicle dynamics, and a reasonable price tag. For an Audi. For an Audi. Yeah. <laughs> Best new convertible. The Audi A5 Cabriolet won the title for its overall quality, its great ride, and its low fuel consumption. Fuel consumption, fuel consumption. Yeah. Best new SUV, CUV under 35,000. Now we're getting into the utilities, right? Right, yeah. right. The 2010 Subaru Outback won hands down thanks to its great wide quality. Did I say wide? Ride quality. Ride quality, sorry, yeah. Sorry. Interior fit and finish and versatility. And what do you want in a car, an SUV, CUV, more than versatility? That's the number one thing. It has to be thing. wide. <laughs> wide. Right. It wants to be wide. Best new SUV, CUV, 35,000 to 60,000. The Volkswagen Touareg TDI Clean Diesel has always been a rugged off-road rotor with a high level of fit and finish and the addition of a fuel efficient diesel engine that was the icing on the cake that set it apart. I love icing. Yeah. Best new SUV CUV over 30, over 60,000. Well, the hybrid version of the RX, the Lexus RX 450H offers impressive fuel economy and performance, a composed ride and a well crafted cockpit with excellent ergonomics. Well I think it's, uh, we better go down to the floor of the Toronto Auto Show where the results are about to be announced. On the 2010 Toronto Auto Show, the winner of Car of the Year has just been announced, and it is the Volkswagen GTI, a very hot compact hatch if I do say so myself. And the recipient for Canadian Utility Vehicle of the Year is the 2010 Subaru Outback, the recipient of many other awards including one of our own.